Okay, today uh, we will discuss about polarization. The uh, polarization in antenna is known as the orientation of electric field with respect to propagation. In dielectric resonator antenna, we want to introduce circular polarization, reason being we have seen during rain if we are seeing movie or some program in TV and all of sudden there is a rain. Because of rain attenuation the signal is lost and we see on the screen that the program they will put a screen that there is some problem in viewing the program. So, to overcome that problem in antenna we introduce a term known as circular polarization with the help of circular polarization we will be able to overcome this problem, but in detail we will see what antenna parameters are there first and then we will discuss the necessity and mechanism of introducing circular polarization. In dielectric resonator antennas there are few common parameters such as resonant frequency, input impedance reflection coefficient or return loss, radiation pattern, gain, directivity, polarization, bore site, broad site, end fire, these are the radiation uh, patterns, azimuth angle, elevation angle, the formation of dipoles and then dipole movement, this is heart of antenna mechanism beam width, bandwidth, frequency ratio, front to back ratio, axle ratio, impedance bandwidth, axle ratio bandwidth, fundamental and higher order modes, matching of impedance, different shapes of dielectric resonator antennas. The control of radiation mechanism. In radiation mechanism we will see that electrical energy is being converted into magnetic energy. Then there are various feed mechanism we will have one detailed lecture on various feed mechanisms. So, feed mechanism is also an important parameter as far as antenna is concerned there is a spectrum either it is microwave spectrum or terahertz spectrum which is being used for 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G and 5G and beyond. So, spectrum of frequency is important for an antenna, the value of dielectric constant and there are few techniques by which we can miniaturize or deminiaturize our dielectric resonator antennas. Now, uh, the how to convert this electrical energy into magnetic energy will depend on the antenna or dielectric resonator antenna radiation mechanism. Here we make use of feed mechanism and then uh, the to and fro motion of electromagnetic uh, wave will form standing wave and based on the boundary conditions the boundaries can be either P C or P M C. The standing waves uh, which is being generated by oscillating electro electrons or oscillating charge particles and depending on those boundaries they will have two and fro motions. Now, we want to convert these standing waves into uh, traveling wave or we can see the oscillating electric field is being converted into oscillating uh, magnetic field depending on the boundary conditions and they will follow the pointing vector uh, principle. Now, uh, based on this uh, we can have uh, one more parameter that is beam control, uh, bandwidth control and for uh, uh, the height 
but we can take the image effect into consideration as we have seen in the previous lecture that if there is a uh, ground plane the image effect will double the height of DRA and because of the uh, ground plane we uh, came to know that only odd modes are getting excited, but if you want to uh, excite even modes then uh, we need to uh, have isolated DRAs. So, in this uh, radiation mechanism we have seen that standing waves are being converted into travelling wave because the uh, second order differential equation is being followed and in this second order differential equation the uh, accelerating charge particles are being formed. Now, the how to form the second order differential equations there are dipoles E dot r is dipoles then we uh, derivate the dipoles it becomes E dot v that is velocity of uh, charge particles we again derivate to introduce second order differential equation and then we get E uh, summation of E dot a. So, these accelerating charge particles provide us sinusoidal or cosine uh, waves and these accelerating charge particles will only become a cause to radiate the electromagnetic energy into space. So, power will uh, depending on how much power it is able to deliver the, uh, the, uh, the electromagnetic energy will radiate out into space at that distance and inverse square law will be followed. So, more will be the distance intensity will get reduced uh, depending on the distance uh, we want to measure this electromagnetic field. Now, to compute received power we carry out power in dB measurement using spectrum analyzer or vector network analyzer. Then the uh, material by which we formulate or we develop dielectric resonator antenna is uh, defining permittivity of material and permeability of material and then permittivity of free space. Depending on these uh, values we choose the free space impedance as 377 ohm and we try to match output impedance of antenna to the free space impedance. So, free flow of RF power takes place. Depending on this we will compute antenna efficiency, loss tangent, wave function, wave vector and quality factor. I have only taken important parameters which are being there in antenna design or antenna mechanism, but there are few more uh, which I have not uh, discussed today, but while uh, designing they these all parameters will come up automatically. Now, based on these parameter which we have discussed now, I will talk specifically how what is circular polarization and how we can introduce this circular polarization. There are various techniques available to introduce circular polarization into DRA as I already said that we want to form this E field into a circular pattern. So, that it will have a composite of vertical as well as horizontally polarized that will form such, uh, such as Lissajar's pattern is being formed if we have two orthogonal fields into one probe or two probes of uh, horizontal and vertical polarized signals are being combined we get a circular shape of uh, field that is Lissajar's pattern. Similarly, here also in developing DRA or dielectric resonator antennas we make sure that we are able to get circular polarized fields in our antenna design. There are popular techniques uh, which we uh, come across during design of dielectric resonator antenna to introduce circular polarization. There are feed either we can achieve this circular polarization using uh, alterations into feed mechanism or devise, devising certain uh, techniques or certain uh, arrangements in the feed mechanism or we can also achieve this circular polarization by carrying out uh, the shape of dielectric resonator antenna. So, that uh, we are able to rotate our fields either in clockwise or in anti clockwise direction by incorporating feed mechanism or uh, designing dielectric resonator antennas in shape in such a way that 
it rotates in clockwise, we will say it is uh, right hand circular polarization, but if it is able to we are able to rotate electric field in anti clockwise direction uh, circularly, then we will say it is LSCP or left hand circular polarization. So, for this there are popular techniques either we use cross slot or we can use uh, Z shape uh, slot or we can uh, alter in geometry of DRA by introducing Z uh, cavity into DRA. There are uh, other uh, methods in feeding like S feed DRA or we make feed in the corner, stair shape DRA, combinational of rectangular DRA in such a way that uh, we make left or right arm uh, dominant. So, accordingly we can rotate our fields, fan blade shape is one of, one of the important shape which we have carried out, sigmoid shape of DRA, sometimes we use F shape slot for feeding. Then uh, there are uh, some spiral shape DRA, offset feed DRA, uh, so bow, uh, bow tie shape DRA, uh, S shape DRA, L shape DRA, L and inverted L shape DRA, these are the mechanism uh, which we use to introduce uh, the circular polarization pattern as the field is uh, robust as compared to linear, uh, uh, linear polarized signals which I have given you the example of uh, rain attenuation. So, circular polarization in design is very crucial and we will see in the next lecture how we are able to introduce left hand circular polarization or right hand circular polarization into DRA to make our signal robust and it will not be able to attenuate uh, from uh, the media or the uh, signal interference can be avoided by using circular polarizer into DRA. That is all for today's. We will uh, see uh, the uh, detail part in the next section.